Good morning, Brasser Bears. Happy Pride Day and happy Friday. So yesterday I read uh, The Day the Crayons Quit and I told you today we'd read The Day the Crayons Came Home. wonder what's going to happen with Duncan. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, I'm not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only color with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch, and then your dad sat at me and broke me in half. I would have never survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon. Maroon crayon. Oh, so these are crayons that he lost. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban, the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as pea green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember what? Remember that great family vacation we had? Remember how we laughed when we drew the picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me in the hotel pool when you left? Clearly do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Oh no. All these poor crayons. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. Do you know the real color of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. So Duncan's not taking good care of his crayons again. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan, and it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon? Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. So Esteban, that peak green crayon, peak green is trying to leave. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween when we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scare friend, glow in the dark crayon. Oh, wow. And I think if you turned off the lights, it actually will glow in the dark. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, France, I think. Just crossing the New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. What country has pyramids, do you know? It's Egypt. 
Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeer there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored in each coin individually, but did you listen? Nope. I also told you that stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. No, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck in your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky, on the head buddy, turquoise quan. P.S. Sock says hi. And it says, tell him I said hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top off my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is that he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys, monkey, donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate Friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Oh no, does that look like the rainforest? Does the rainforest have snow? It doesn't. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? And I don't think so. I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to candy bars, okay? You're very embarrassed for friend brown crayon mm hmm I wonder what that brown scribble is that he's embarrassed of I'm not gonna say it because it's yucky Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost forgotten broken or neglected over the years so he ran around gathering them up but Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. That's all their postcards. He built a place where each crayon would always feel home. says, there's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period. But it's not really blue, more lilac. I think that door's for us. Ah, there you are, I could use a haircut. I hope there isn't a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Make sure it's straight. Again. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. So, 
I hope you guys liked uh, the day the crayons quit and the day they came home. Remember to always treat your crayons nicely. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.